I score more with this defense than I typically give up, so I'm going to stick with it. On the next play, second and 10, we get an instant sack, and we get a fumble that we pick up for an instant scoop and score. It's the, uh, the alternate version. Somebody's hitting flats a lot, just make it look like they're coming with the house, and then just hit those hard flats. So all you got to do play underneath. It's going to take away uh, any opportunities for those quick throws. You can see on the next play, he's pretty much crossed up expecting that blitz, and then I just come right underneath it with a user interception, and we're taking it to the house. <laughs> Need fast, cheap, reliable mud coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing up the Madden cheese as always. Got a Super Bowl for you guys. In my last gameplay, I said if you guys wanted to see the Super Bowl, which was the uh, game following uh, a couple games that I showed this last week, uh, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. You guys did that. So this is that game. Uh, I'm going to be showing a lot of the same offenses and defenses that I've been showing pretty much the last couple weeks, whether it's my, my new blitzing defense out of the 6-1 or my offense uh, that I've run out of the pistol playbook. You're going to see both of that because that's pretty much all I'm running right now. Uh, I'm thinking about going back to maybe using the Niners a little bit because it's something that people that play regs and people that play CFM can get into a little bit more. So let me know in the comment section if you guys want me to keep going forward with the alternate playbooks or if you guys want to see me switch back to uh, a more regular book that more people have access to. But the defense I'm going to start off with today, this is one of my most favorite defenses right now. It's out of the 4-3 even 6-1. It's the cover four quarters. This is one of the most pressure heavy blitz defenses in the game. There's ways you can beat it. I'm going to show you guys some things you can do that I didn't show in the original video, but I will have a link in the description if you guys want to check out that original video. I think it's also important to mention that if you run this defense you will need to have at least uh you know acrobat and mid zone ko on as many of the deep quarter players as you can i have it on all four my cornerbacks and my safeties all four of them are rocking acrobat and mid zone ko that really helps if you don't have that it might not be the defense for you i'm not going to say it's the defense everybody can run but it's a defense that i like to run and i find it's very successful now this is the setup right here all you really got to know like i said i have a link in the description if you guys want to see the full breakdown of any of the plays i show you today but all you really have to do is blitz all the linebackers that's probably the most important part. I pinch my defensive line. I slant the uh, the D uh, the D line out. Uh, but other than that, it's really just about the blitz all linebackers. I can run in any number of ways. You can see the first play. He runs outside of it. That's going to be something that people can do. This guy here, he's going to run a lot of hurry up. I know a lot of people might struggle with the amount of adjustments there are. That's why basically I'm saying that the, the easiest way to do it is just blitz all the linebackers. The rest is really not that important as it'll pro the blitz pretty much work either way. You can see on the next play, I almost jumped that route. I was real close. Oh, he almost tagged. You know, the game just started. My time is just a little bit off, but you can see see it's almost right there then you're going to see my opponent here he basically uh, beats me in the flats that's something that a lot of people complain about i mean honestly if you're getting beat in the flats a lot all you got to do is set the blitz up like you're essentially going to send the house one more time and then just hard flat your defensive ends this is a good compromise i'm not saying it's going to work 100 percent you can see on the next play i mean he just basically hits me with the uh, rpo uh, that's going to be something that unless i have the cornerback in our flats not really going to stop so based off of that i switch to a different defense this is my old base defense i still use it quite a bit it's a nickel 335 cover for drop based off the fact that he's having some success with that blitz i'm gonna go at him and hit him with a different look i don't want to keep just hitting with that not the point you don't want to beat your head against a brick wall it's not working switch it up i'll go back to that blitz in a little bit you can see on the next play hits me with a screen he's still trying to hit me with that underneath stuff like i'm running the first play so on the next play i hit him with some hard flats you can see we pretty much lock everything up here in coverage i'm still in cover four quarters though. that's the bottom line as he has to throw it away luckily he gets it away next play we're gonna hit with another curveball we're gonna go with the cover three cloud this is a defensive formation like i said i put this out a while ago i have links in the description for all these breakdowns but this is essentially the same uh, defense I've been running pretty much all year as you can see he tries to hit me with a toss play nope doesn't really work out as we get the stop so on fourth and three he's gonna go for it so we hit him with some hard flats uh, because obviously only these three yards on the very next play he tries to hit that running back one more time nope we're all over that so we get the stop on the offensive side we're gonna run a lot of the same formations that we put out like I said recently we're in the pistol playbook I'm gonna be using the weak slot flex um, I just put out my pistol ebook for people that have been asking link in the description below but this particular formation is really all about these two plays the power option and the pa power option pass these are my two favorite plays probably in the entire book right now especially the pa power option pass now this first play uh, i just like giving him some gaps so i just hit him with a dive what? As we almost get the first down, there probably wasn't a ton there. Now, he's running what a lot of people are running right now, the 3-3-5 wide, uh, which is, you know, one of the meta defenses. So, I got to, you know, that's a pretty good defense. Usually stops to run pretty good, but it's not going to stop these particular plays. It's not going to stop the power option. It's not going to stop the PA power option pass. When I come to the line, though, I'm not 100% sure if it's still that cover through or not. So, we're going to hit him with that run play. I always run it to the open side. I don't know why. It just runs better. It just, it just runs better than to the receiver side. I usually get larger gains. 
touch this. We hit that pitch. We are instantly about 10 to 15 yards away from the nearest tackler. That's what's so crazy about this run play. It's instant separation. Still in that cover three, too, by the way. So on the next play, we're going to hit him with that cover three, one play touchdown. All we got to do is motion this running back out. That's it. Motioning him out. Put the uh, A route on the streak. Put the B route on a drag. And you're going to see this is one of the glitchiest one play touchdowns against cover three you're going to find. As this cornerback just completely whiffs every time. What? And you can see all we have to do is bullet and pass lead away from the safety who comes up and makes the tackle, preventing the touchdown. But you can see how instant that play is. Then I decided to hit him with a slip screen, which, like I said, I don't typically run slip screens. And this is probably why. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. This guy comes in, just pops the ball free with a huge hit stick. He's got the ball right back. So we were driving length of the field pretty fast. Wasn't working out, though. So we're going to go right back to that couple of quarters. I got nothing but faith in this defense, even though it didn't necessarily work out in the first drive. So second drive, doing the exact same things. We have to follow this guy, though. That's the one thing. Usering is really important, and I completely failed on the sticks there. That's not going to be the first or the last time that I messed up as a user. I gave him too much space, and he just basically he burned me. I don't blame the defense. That was my responsibility. He burned me personally. So that will happen. But you win some, you lose some. So it is what it is. So on the offensive side, we're going to use another formation out of the Pistol Full House that we put out recently. Uh, link in the description for that as well. This is all about the run plays, but I'm going to be doing a little bit of passing out of it. Uh, this play here, I mean, the running back uh, is typically going to be good against any zone coverage. Because it lays another hit stick. This guy's just running around slamming my uh, receivers around. On the next play, this is a good cover three play, but I don't typically put this guy to the line. And it almost cost me that was a close one it's his cover three quarterbacks are all over the place they don't give up a lot of space at all and you can see we're right down the field for a very big play we completely flipped the field on that uh then we're gonna go right back to it we're gonna run the exact same play only we're gonna change up to wide receiver backfield in the sub packages if you guys don't know if you do that you get a receiver at this uh, running back spot which is really gonna help out in the pass play so on the next play we're just gonna pre basically pre-diagnose he's in cover three pretty much this entire game we're just gonna go right to this rb route one more time so on the next play uh we're just gonna hit the flat one more time and we're gonna get a little bit more stick work going Psych. Then you're left in the dust. we almost scored from about 15 out now we're inside the five this is my number one go-to uh play inside the five inside the red zone that's the cross drag this play right here i mean it's super easy to run all you have to do is streak the tight end motion the running back out and put him on a slant if nobody follows run the play right away just quick snap it and score an easy touchdown but you can see he follows so all i'm gonna do is put him on a slant uh, and that's pretty much going to be the play if the a route's the read if it's cover two he splits it you just throw it right over the middle if it's cover three you just throw it past leading to the left a little bit he's usually wide open in the seam and if it's a man coverage you're basically just going to hit the crosses you got a ton of crossers going both directions so that's pretty much your reads and it works out very easily pretty much every single time i do this is we get a cover three uh, we just bullet it right away like I said, run a cover three up and down the entire field so why would it change inside the five so then on the defensive side one more time like i said we're still sending that all out blitz i have nothing but faith in this play even though like i said it has its deficiencies i'm not going to let it you know i'm not going to give it enough rope to hang me but there's enough going on here that I can make stuff happen. Now on the next play, hits that flat one more time. We're going to go ahead. We're going to do the flat version. This is the uh, the alternate version. If somebody's hitting flats a lot, just make it look like you're coming with the house. And then just hit those hard flats. That's all you got to do. Play underneath. It's going to take away uh, any opportunities for those quick throws. You can see on the next play, he's pretty much crossed up expecting that blitz. And then I just come right underneath it gotcha, bitch. with a user interception. And we're taking it to the house. That's it! That's it! Just like that! So, like I said, you don't have to keep running, hitting your head against the wall, running that blitz over and over and over. There are other things you can do. Uh, you just have to kind of be smart with it, mix it up. On the next play, second and ten. Break yourself, fool! We get an instant sack, and we get a fumble that we pick up for an instant scoop and score. So we score back-to-back -back touchdowns with this defense. That's like I said, that's why I'm going to stick with this defense. It's a cheat code. It's a bit of a risk-reward defense, but when you're up two touchdowns because of it, why would I stop using it? So on the next play, I've seen this formation before. He tried to hit this uh, deep crosser in a previous play. Nope. So I tried to jump all over it. I don't know why I didn't get that catch animation. That's something I feel like I typically get. Uh, but that was almost another interception. You know, that's the thing about this defense is it makes your opponent predictable. There's only so many things that can beat it. So based off of the fact that they basically only have a route or two, they're going to keep going back to that. On the next play, tries to hit me with it again. Like I said, this time, just a little bit, you know, a little bit behind. Uh, it's to the point now, if he's going to keep hitting with this, I'm just going to start switching it up. So I was using the cover four quarters, but since he's found a play for that, I'm going to go to switch it up. I could do this blitz with just about any coverage from the formation. I just think cover four is the best coverage to use. On the next play, I'm going to switch it up to a cover two, and I'm not even going to do the full blitz. I'm just going to basically let these guys drop back. You can see he doesn't always look at 
that, so he takes the flats one more time, although the flat wasn't really there. I mean, oh. and I should have stopped him for no gain at all. I just whiffed on the tackle. Then on the next play, he's running a lot of hurry up. Uh, we're going to switch it up again. We're going to go with the cover two variation this time. It's all the same. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, I mean, I just basically have to make sure that whoever I'm sending a blitz on, I have to cover. So this slot receiver is open on my side. I got to cover him. You can see he was watching that streak, although, you know, the guy didn't bite the same way it did uh, in previous plays. He's dropping back where typically cover four corners are a little bit easier to spy. So he has to get rid of it right away because the pressure is going to come one way or the other and he's basically taking check down so now to the point that there's only about 40 seconds left in the half so i don't have to be so uh you know pressure heavy i'm going to basically just play a little bit safer because i don't want to give up a quick score so i'm going to go out i'm going to switch it up to dollar three two six situationally i want to make sure he doesn't get a touchdown here i want to basically let him bleed himself out for time so when the next play he runs the ball that's no problem uh no you know nothing no problem for me bro just run this clock out on yourself second and ten i mean i flood the middle he's got nothing nowhere to go and with five seconds left he's throwing it away so he's going to take a field goal this guy's definitely not playing to win what a pussy so second half we're gonna come out we're running that exact same uh speed option this is one of my favorite plays it's one of the highest uh average plays i have in my playbook i average like 11 to 12 yards of carry uh on the next play i mean it's just so easy like even with this defender out in front of the play it just doesn't matter that pitch is just so cheese then on the next play we're gonna hit with that cover three one more time only difference is this time it looks like he's looking for it he's just standing there menacingly as he is all over that route i mean i guess he remembered that from the one time that i ran it earlier in the game uh, but he's coming back the other way so luckily he doesn't get a huge return but we have a ball game now i mean he's only down 11 and i wasn't necessarily prepared for this so on the very next play i guess i got a little lazy on the sticks i gotta be honest i'm so used to that defense just making the plays making the sacks for me that i just let him roast me on a streak but both of his touchdowns came on user error so it's not the defense as much as just me just basically getting lazy on the sticks on the next play goes for two he doesn't get it nothing's open then on the offensive side i mean we're in a one possession game now so i'm gonna hit him with the kitchen sink i'm gonna start bringing all types of stuff at him we're gonna hit him with the pa counter waggle next out of the pistol trips this is one of my favorite uh, offensive plays in this book although here you can see his secondary is really giant on the spot they're really covering these plays tight as he uh, almost gets a knockout there then on the next play we're gonna hit him with the triple option out of the pistol week this is one of my favorite run plays i probably could have had a much larger carry here if i would have just took this wide i just cut off a little bit short but i could easily probably had the first down if i just would have trusted that and ran outside ran too close with blocker then on the next play we're going to the pistol full house this is another series i'm going right back to that pax post this is a play if you're running a lot of cover threes like you can see it clearly is i'm going to be able to take this wire out pretty much all game but for whatever reason they're covering this really well so i have to take the running back underneath which is a very good second option as you can see we get the first down then i'm going to flip the play i'm going to run to the receiver side hoping that the receiver can get a little bit more separation as you can see he clearly does but i mean i have a 99 overall vernon davis on the other side he should be getting separation like i said his cornerbacks are clamping down next play he's coming down some spread looks trying to stop these plays so we're just going to hit him with some inside runs if you're going to come out and you're going to give me these big holes especially inside the 10 inside the 20 i'm going to make you pay for it on the next play you can see he almost gets a stop right there but i still get the first so we're, we're cool with just taking time down and then on the very next play we're going to hit him with the zone read with the fullback which typically isn't the best way to go and we're going to get an easy touchdown as you can see he's still running that three through five wide on the other side i mean it's only four seconds left it's essentially fourth quarter and i'm up 12 so i'm going to come out a little bit more of a safe defense i don't want to give up any quick touchdowns especially since my user's been off and then on the very next play i mean he's been hitting that flat a little bit too much gotcha, bitch. as we come up and we get the interception right off the bat and if you ask me those quick throws are pressure related i mean that's something that once you're getting heat all game you'll eventually make mistakes like that on the very next play we hit him with that power option one more time and we get an easy touchdown so now we're up big the game feels like it's in the bag with only about three minutes left my opponent here probably doesn't have a ton left i'm still trying to hit him with some uh, big nickel over g blitz but you can see he's gonna chuck it up out of desperation <laughs> and we're coming back the other way with another gotcha, interception bitch. so that's pretty much it that's the game uh we are super bowl champions in this biatch but my opponent's a hater he's not gonna let me celebrate with the trophy <laughs> oh man oh so that's it that's the video if you guys want to uh, see more gameplays like this do me a favor hit the like button and let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below